Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video in my Happy Planner for the week of the 26th through um, the 1st of November. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think if I can, if the vision in my head can be on the paper, it's going to look cool. So I'm again, I'm pulling from this Halloween paper pad that I've been using and basically four now it's four of the last five plan with me's really love this paper pad. I'm so excited that I got this because it's really been very inspirational for me. And I pulled out this piece of paper and um, I'm going to use this as my inspiration. And as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I may, I'm going to be doing something to these pumpkins that I'm super excited about. So I'll show you that in a second. So the first thing I did was cut the pumpkins out. Boom. I cut them out of the second page over here. So I cut them out. And now I want to do a couple of things. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this too for something that I'm going to show you in a second. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to get this piece of paper onto this little piece. Now, it doesn't fit, obviously. Um, so I'm going to need to figure out what to do about that. Um, I don't like that it doesn't fit. Now I do have the separate piece. I think I'm going to have to do kind of like a piecemeal thing again where I I'm going to take this and piece this over here. But the thing is I want the moon. I want the moon. I want the moon. I want the moon. I want the moon over here. So maybe I'll actually use this piece of paper instead of that piece of paper. Okay, let me just think through this a little bit. Okay, so I want the moon. All right, well, I could sit here all day thinking about it, or I could just get it done. So, let's just do it. Let's just do it, and then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I want this moon, I want the moon, the whole moon on there. And I kind of like the shadow that it's creating. So I'm trying to, I'm going to try to cut the paper. Let's see if I get it. If I cut it right there. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. So I'm going to cut it right there. So that's going to be my first cut. Okay. Let's just try it. So I'm going to line it up against this line, the edge of the thing. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to mark where that edge is. And then I'm going to cut. Erg, that's scary. <laughs> okay. So that will go right there. Perfect. And then I'll have to put this. And then for this, I do want to think I do want to keep the header. So then, so this is sitting here, and this I want to sit right here.
And then I'm going to just cut around the moon. Will that work? <gasps> Look, I got my Monday. Yay! Okay, cool. Okay, maybe I cut a little bit more. Just so it's I mean I definitely don't want pink but I think that's good I feel like that's good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and basically cut the strips and put them down um, I actually think what I'll do is I'll line this up and cut this, I'm going to cut this across. So that it's all even on the top like that and then this is going to go here i feel like that's going to work okay so let's let's go ahead um i'm going to get all of this stuff glued down for the um and then we're going to go for, we're going to we're going to get the page glued down so i'm going to be i'm going to do that and then i'll come back okay so i got this far but now I have to like figure out what I'm going to do with this side because I ran out of this paper. <laughs> so I'm going to have to basically kind of jerry rig it and use this now. Okay. So this is my other issue is I really want these to go all the way across the page right here. Let me actually trim this. I really want these to go all the way across the page. So that's another issue that I have. <laughs> I think I could probably just use the top. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this. I'm going to bring it all the way to the edge. I'm going to cut it right there, but I don't think I'm going to cut down to the pumpkins. I'm going to leave the pumpkins. I'm just going to cut like basically down there. And then So then I don't want the skyline. Actually, I guess that's okay. Um, let's, let's separate this. Probably unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Wow, that was really, really crooked. That's going to just have to be good enough. <laughs> Let's get this glued on. If you guys have followed me, you know I'm extra. So just bear with me. This is going to probably be a long one. All right. So I want this to go across the page. And I'm going to just pretend this isn't here. This stupid dotty thing that they do in the middle. I don't understand it. Um, I'm going to just cut this. This part is scary. Okay, cutting it, doing it, just doing it. 
Okay, so this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go here, right? It's like a scene, and then I'm gonna need to patch that with the pumpkin. Okay, so, um, does it need to look like the end? There we go. Okay, so, a couple things are gonna happen now. <laughs> All right, I made a mock-up somewhere. Where'd I put it? Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. So I need somewhere to put my labels and my stickers for the things I do. Right. And I just don't want to like put it in the night sky. Cause that doesn't make sense. They're just floating in the night sky. Come on out people. <laughs> doesn't make sense. So I am going to make, I have this paper basically I have this paper and it has wooden planks on it so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> oh, I'm so extra okay so I'm going to make these like wooden planks right this is like a little page that I a little um die cut that I had and I just folded the edges and cut it and crinkled it a little bit and then make it look like a sign, right? I mean, I'm not gonna put this one here. I'll probably put this one like over here maybe on the weekend or on the weekday. I don't know if it'll fit. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this one, but I'm just trying to show you what I'm thinking of. Okay, so then if this pumpkins are here, that doesn't really work. Maybe it does. Okay. So that's my thought process. So I'm going to basically create a bunch of like little planks, different sizes from this paper. So here, let me just cut this one so you can get an idea. So it's like, so for instance, if I put this here, I don't know if I will, but let's just say I do. I put that here. I could put this in front. Some of them can be in front of the pumpkins, I guess. All right, so like I could put this one here and that can be in front and I can pop that up and then I can have some behind it. And then like have some like, you know, maybe I will put a couple in the front. I don't know, I'm not really loving the front thing. It's not what my vision was Then having like this one and then having like a longer one behind it. And then like doing different sizes. And then, then I'm not liking that because that's taking up way too much room. So doing like this, having different ones, right? And then what I need to do what I'll need to do is I'll need to cut like a post, a poster thing. So let's say I cut this and then I, let's cut it And then what I think I'm going to do is like make it like, like ridges. Right? Like, like make it like ridge, like it's planks that are kind of not so even. And then let's do that. Or you know, old and, I mean, you know, I don't think a witch would have nice even planks. She'd have like messed up planks, right? Okay, so then this gets dirtied, right? Because we're not gonna have a clean signpost. Just 
doesn't seem right. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on here, right, for a little signpost. And then <laughs> I'm going to take like a sticker like this and do basically the same thing. Kind of cut it, ridge it, make it not so perfect. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but and then kind of wrinkle it and then dirty it. And then put this on here. Well, maybe I want it this way. And oh, nope, it's a little bit more cut off. And that would go right there like that. And then I could write whatever I did on that day right there. You know, that's what I did. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to do, because these are not really jack-o-lanterns, these are pumpkins and I want to make them jack-o-lanterns. So the way that I'm going to do that <laughs> is I'm going to carve them and two jack-o'-lanterns. And then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife. And there are pumpkins, so it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's a pumpkin. When you carve a pumpkin, they're not always perfect. Okay. Catch it all. Let's go back over. Ah, uh, tiny scissors. I just want to darken the edges. Take some of that white off of the cut. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take some. Puffy sticker stuff that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I need to find more of this because I have used a lot of this in the last two weeks, three weeks. I'm going to just go around the edges and pop this off. Pop this up, pop this up, pump this up. Because I'm hoping by doing this it will make it look like the black is behind behind it inside versus yeah see I don't know if that's showing on the camera but so I'm just gonna go around I don't need it to be Thank you. 
I need it to be perfectly cut. And then I'm going to stick this on here. I made a little jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> okay, now if I have these sitting here like this, and then I have this right here, I mean, well, like right there. I think I'm gonna do the other two exactly the same way. Um, I'm just going to cut them out. I'm going to use this piece of paper and I'm going to cut them out. I think I might want to put a white pumpkin. No, maybe not. Kind of maybe, maybe this. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So I'm just going to do that again. I'm just going to do that two more times for this one and the bigger one on the corner. I'm going to just cut this all out. And then, um, so I won't make you sit through me doing that again. You guys can. Okay. So I've done some work. <laughs> um, I've kind of created this side a little bit, I think. Um, I feel like I don't have enough spaces but I'm going to work on that. Um, I think what I have to do at this point, so I have my little jack-o'-lanterns, this one as well. What I think I have to do at this point is I'm going to glue I was thinking I was going to glue this down, but okay. I think I am gonna glue this down. I do wanna pop this off a little bit. So I have, I'm, instead of using the tape from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna use these little pop dots from the Dollar Tree um, because they're not as thick as the the other ones. Okay, so I want this one to be in the forefront. Um, So I'm just going to glue this on with just regular non-sticky tape or just not non-pop-up tape, <laughs> just regular tape. Glue that on, right? Okay. And then if I have... Let's just work on this one side for now. So if I have this here, right, I was thinking I'm gonna add this little guy over here. Let's just do that real quick because this one's gonna be in the background. And then I'll trim that off and then I'm gonna put this right here, right? Now, my problem is I want this in the front, right? But then I have this that has pop dots. Okay, so that this is gonna go here, this is gonna go in the front. So I'm gonna have to double tape that one. <laughs> so where is my tape at? Let's see, I've got thicker stuff, so I'm just gonna use this thicker one. So I'm going to have to pop it up twice, basically. Let's 
So what I'm going to do is take these off. And I'm just going to double pop it off. That's going to be super thick in my planner, but oh well, it's all good. If I double pop it off, yeah, it's going to sit better. I'm basically going to do the same thing for this on this side. So I need to make a couple more of these and kind of figure out my placement. I'm just going to stick this one over here. And then I just cut this from the other paper. So I'm going to stick that one right there. And then I'm just going to make some more of the wooden planks and the wooden um, steps, sticks, steps, step, sticks, the wooden planks and the wooden signs and kind of create that over here. And then I'm actually going to put the whole thing together during sticker time. So we are going to go ahead and start sticker time. All right, so let's get this in my planner. Um, as I said, so what I basically decided that I'm gonna do is make the little tags as I go along for the day. Um, so I'll, I'll make the little tag and then stick it on each of the little posts. Um, and I might add more of these back pieces depending on what's going on. But um, I love the way that I did this one with the three different things. So yeah, I'm just, I'm super happy with it. I'm very happy with it. It turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. I executed what was in my head. It came on the paper. Get it in the planner. It's, this thing sticks out, but I'll, pro I'll probably need to cut that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so there is this week's and then I wanted to show you last week. I haven't filled out this little part yet because I it's Sunday today. And um, I'll probably do something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But that's basically what I did this week. I had quite a bit of space. I didn't do too much this week. I did add this little thing. And I didn't really have a lot going on this week. <laughs> I was just really busy at work. So kind of just stayed home and watched a lot of YouTube. Um, but yeah, so that is my plan with me for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you know somebody who loves Halloween and would love this planner layout, um, please share it with them. Um, it really does help my channel if people share and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'm almost to 85 
um, hundred uh, subscribers. So I'm hoping I can get there before the end of the year. And I hope that you guys really enjoy these videos and I put a lot of work into them. So I really appreciate all your sweet comments and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.